is review time once again, and I have a very cool and unique instrument to talk about today. It's Tapes.01 by the Phonoloop, and it's all about sounding modern by sounding old. So Tapes.01 is a contact library that will run in both the full version of contact and the free player, which is great for most people like me that don't own contact. It's a two-voice instrument with an incredibly deep noise section, which essentially turns it into a three-voice instrument. There are a ton of modulation features and effects, and you can set up a total of four main control knobs on the first page, which can control any number of different things from volume to effect amount to sequencer speed. Think of the super knob on the Yamaha Montage, but times four. So I typically rate VST instruments and effects using a 100 point scale, with anything above 80 being really good and anything above 90 being exceptional and probably in the must-own category, depending on what type of music you make or produce. For tapes, I bought this last year during their Black Friday sale and have been using it for about two months now, and the phono loop did not have any input on the video. With that, let's dive into the first category. Let's start with the interface. It's baked looking and really pretty cool. Very minimalistic with kind of a 60s vibe that fits the instrument. I especially like how the sound sample waveform is presented on the main page, and also how it changes depending on the velocity of the key press. Very cool. The second page is where the action is, and it is a tad busy at first glance, but once you start to dive in, everything becomes pretty much intuitive, and the controls are laid out very efficiently. Almost everything is on this page, so there's no menu diving. Surprisingly, there are quite a few pull-down tabs throughout the controls. If you just start clicking on things, usually additional functions become apparent, like the ability to turn something on or off, or to be able to choose between modulation sources. Virtually everything is movable or adjustable somehow, which is great use of controls and space. There's also a manual which is very helpful with explanations of all the controls. It's fairly straightforward for the most part. While the interface isn't flashy, it really fits the sound engine and the feel that the instrument is trying to achieve. The one gripe that I would have is really a limitation of contact and not tapes.01, which is the ability to adjust the size of the interface as the text here is quite small. Hopefully this is something that native instruments will resolve with the release of contact 7. And frankly, this is a small price to pay for having everything on one page. One thing I would like to see, and it might help, is the ability to change the color, brightness, or contrast, which could help make the text a bit easier to read. While it's not perfect, it is really good, and I don't know that I would change much at all. I give tapes a 17 out of 20 in this category. The next thing we want to talk about is the presets and the content. The price of tapes is 120 euros, which is about $133 US. For that, you get 492 presets and 442 sound sources, which is a ton. There's also 217 noise samples. Frankly, there are more noise samples in this synth than sounds or presets in other libraries that I own. In total, it's 11,000 samples at almost 27 gig uncompressed. That is an impressive amount of content for the price. But even though there is a lot here, are the presets any good? Are they usable? And I would say not only are they usable, they're fantastic. There's your basic synth, bass, and noise type presets. But where this instrument really shines is in the variety of granular tape loop type sounds. If you've heard of or own a Chase Bliss Mood or Blooper or a Hologram Microcosm pedal, and if you like the type of effects you can achieve from these, then tapes is absolutely for you. Many of the loops are versatile enough that you can use them as an instrument by themselves or layered with piano, guitar, or road sounds for instance. And with some creativity, you can get some really evocative shimmer or flutter type effects that sound great. Here are a couple examples of what tapes can do.
As you can see here, these are really awesome and unique. And for this, I give tapes a perfect 20 out of 20 for the presets content category. Tapes has a very unique sound. It's not like a pristine sounding piano or a violin with dozens of articulations. In fact, it's the opposite of that. It's dirty, gritty, full of noise and character. It has a warmth to it and a very organic feel. There's a definite resonance to many of the samples, especially in what's known as the warm EQ zone. So you have to be careful when modifying sounds so that certain EQ ranges aren't overpowering the full spectrum or feature too prominently in the mix. But this is what makes tapes so unique among other VST instruments and contact libraries. It's the yin to everyone else's yang. And when you play a sound or preset, it grabs your attention with both subtle and not so subtle changes in tone. Some of my particular favorites are from the tape loops category. the Explorations category. And the Stuck in a Loop category. These are really lo-fi dreamland and you can get lost spending hours of time just listening, randomizing, and playing each sample. One thing I love is the amount of noise samples that are in here. There are machine sounds, static, vinyl, tape loop noises, and modular noises to name a few. And the ability to adjust pitch, apply different filter types and adjust them, and then modulate these is huge. Most other VSTs that offer a noise selection don't even provide a quarter of the content you have here. It's really staggering. Finally, the best part of tapes is how organic it feels. With the swarm engine and all the modulation and randomization features, it's easy to create a patch that will continually evolve and you can make this as subtle or dramatic as you want. For quality of sound, I give tapes an 18 out of 20. For this category, I look at how powerful the instrument is when it comes to creating your own presets. This includes being able to apply envelopes, LFOs, sequencers, and effects to really mangle one sound into something completely different. Sound design starts at the sound source, and right off the bat, you can see the power under the hood here. Just watch how easy it is as I dial up two patches using the dice feature. You can then adjust the start location of each sound, adjust the volume, increase the randomization of the start location, change the pitch, add a filter, and modulate most of these things, all in just the upper left corner of the interface. That's pretty incredible control. What makes tapes great is the amount of modulation that is right at your fingertips. You can set up different sequencers with just a couple of clicks, four in total, and there's also four LFOs. I'm glad they have a random LFO included as an option because it's one that is often missed in other contact libraries. Another great feature that I wish was in other libraries is the ability to modulate the modulators, which can provide a really organic feel to a patch. Tapes is an absolute powerhouse when it comes to modulation, and it all fits on this one screen. In essence, you can, in all seriousness, randomize the randomization of your randomizers. 
most other plugins can't even come close to this. When you take all this modulation and then turn on the swarm engine, that's when things can become super interesting. This is your typical granular engine and the normal controls are here. The only thing that I think would be cool to add would be the ability to modulate more of these features. There are also a wide array of effects as well with numerous different delays, reverbs, and choruses. You can link four effects in all and modulate just about anything you want. There are a few things missing that would be nice to see, like different cabinet emulations or a reverse delay, but those are frankly some features that I would consider over the top and aren't present in a majority of contact libraries anyway. As I mentioned before, the noise and tape section at the bottom is just excellent and far superior to what's provided in almost any other VST that I can think of. There are some nice little touches like the ability to add effects to the noise or to have the noise sync with the amplitude envelope. It's a lot of little features like this that add up to make this one heck of an instrument. Not only is Tapes.01 a sound design powerhouse, it's really easy and fast to make something that sounds great. To demonstrate, we're just gonna take this one preset and then start to mangle it by changing some settings. And you're going to see just how quick this goes. While there's definitely a few things I would love to see added to tapes, overall the sound design capabilities are phenomenal, which is why I give it a 19 out of 20 for this category. Finally, if we add everything up, my total score for tapes is a 94 out of 100. And it's a must buy for anyone who loves guitar loop pedals, lo-fi, ambient music, Brian Eno, or for anyone who wants to sound modern by sounding old. It's a ton of fun to play with, it sounds great, and at 130 something dollars, I give it a nine out of 10 in the value department. And if you get it on sale like I did at less than $100, it's more like an 11 out of 10. So that's a wrap for the review. If you wanna hear more examples of what Tapes.01 sounds like, check out my best of 2021 video in the link below. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe, and we will see you on the other side of the mountain.